Naruto Uzumaki. A mischievous boy with spiky blonde hair and a dream bigger than the sky, he lived in a world where ninjas were not just warriors, but protectors, peacekeepers, and heroes. His village, Konohagakure, was one of the five great ninja villages, each with its own unique skills and traditions. Naruto's ultimate goal to become Hokage, the strongest ninja and the leader of his village, earning everyone's respect and admiration. Naruto's early life was far from idyllic. From the moment he was born, his life was marked by solitude and hardship. Orphaned at birth, he grew up alone without the warmth and comfort of a family. The absence of parental love left a void in his heart, shunned by the villagers who harbored a dark secret within him. The villagers' cold stares and whispered conversations were a constant reminder of his isolation. A monstrous entity known as the Nine-Tailed Fox had attacked Konoha years ago, leaving a trail of destruction and sorrow in its wake. In a desperate bid to save the village, the fourth Hokage, at the cost of his own life, sealed the beast within the newborn Naruto. This heroic act was meant to protect the village, but it also made Naruto a vessel for the very creature that had caused them so much pain. The glowing seal on his belly was a constant reminder of the burden he carried. The villagers treated him with fear and suspicion, their prejudice leaving him isolated and yearning for connection. Every glance, every whisper, every cold shoulder deepened his sense of loneliness. Determined to prove his worth, Naruto acted out, pulling pranks and craving attention. His mischievous antics were a cry for recognition, a desperate attempt to be seen and acknowledged. Behind his mischievous facade, however, lay a heart of gold and an unwavering desire to be acknowledged. He longed for acceptance, not as the container of a monster, but as Naruto Uzumaki, the person with dreams and aspirations. Naruto dreamed of becoming the Hokage, the leader of the village, not for power or glory, but to earn the respect and love of the people who had shunned him. His journey was one of resilience, determination, and an unyielding spirit to overcome the shadows of his past and step into the light of his future. Naruto's life took a turn when he graduated from the Ninja Academy and joined Team 7. This marked the beginning of his journey as a true ninja, under the guidance of his sensei, Kakashi Hataki, a skilled and enigmatic jonin. His teammates, Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno, became central figures in his life. Sasuke, a brooding prodigy from the prestigious Uchiha clan, became both a rival and a friend, pushing Naruto to constantly strive for improvement. Sakura, initially infatuated with Sasuke, gradually recognized Naruto's strength and determination, evolving from a teammate into a valuable ally. Together, they faced numerous challenges, their bonds of friendship and shared experiences shaping them into capable ninjas. The Chunin exams, a rigorous test for aspiring ninjas to climb the ranks, became a pivotal event in Naruto's early career. It was during these exams that he faced formidable opponents, tested his skills, and began to understand the true meaning of teamwork and sacrifice. However, the exams also exposed him to the darker side of the ninja world. Orochimaru, a legendary Sanin who had succumbed to darkness, marked Sasuke with a cursed seal, promising him power in exchange for his loyalty. This encounter marked the beginning of Sasuke's descent into darkness, driven by his thirst for vengeance against his brother Itachi, who had massacred their entire clan. Sasuke's defection to Orochimaru, seeking power to avenge his clan, became a turning point in Naruto's life. Determined to bring his friend back, Naruto embarked on a journey of training and self-discovery, guided by Jiraiya, one of the legendary Sanin and his godfather. Jiraiya, a renowned ninja and a somewhat lecherous hermit, saw Naruto's potential and the unwavering spirit he inherited from his parents. He taught Naruto how to control the nine-tailed fox's chakra, honing his skills and instilling in him the importance of never giving up on his friends. As Naruto grew stronger, a new threat emerged. The Akatsuki, a mysterious organization of rogue ninjas targeting the tailed beasts sealed within individuals like Naruto. Their leader, the masked Tobi, orchestrated a complex plan to plunge the world into an illusion of peace, a warped vision that clashed with Naruto's own beliefs. Tragically, Jiraiya, Naruto's mentor and father figure, fell in battle against Pain, the leader of the Akatsuki's assault on Konoha. This devastating loss pushed Naruto to his limits, forcing him to confront his own pain and the responsibility he carried as a Jinchuriki, a host of a tailed beast. Driven by grief and a desire to protect his village, Naruto traveled to Mount Mayoboku, the land of toads, to learn Sage Mode, a powerful technique that draws upon natural energy. 
This intense training honed his skills, pushing him beyond his limits and allowing him to tap into the vast reserves of power within him. Returning to Konoha, Naruto confronted pain, engaging in a fierce battle that tested his strength and resolve. Through his mastery of sage mode, his unwavering determination and his compassion for even his enemies, Naruto defeated pain, earning the village's respect and finally achieving his dream of being acknowledged as a hero. The battle with Pain was merely a prelude to a larger conflict. It was a harbinger of the chaos that was about to engulf the entire ninja world. The stakes were higher, and the enemies more formidable. The Fourth Great Ninja War, orchestrated by Tobi and the Akatsuki, engulfed the ninja world. This war was unlike any other, with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. The Akatsuki's sinister plans aimed to plunge the world into eternal darkness. Naruto, now recognized for his strength and unwavering spirit, became a beacon of hope for the allied shinobi forces. His journey from an outcast to a hero inspired many. His determination and courage were the driving force that kept the morale of the allied shinobi forces high. Alongside his comrades, Naruto fought tirelessly against Tobi's masked army and the resurrected forces of legendary ninjas. The battles were fierce and relentless, testing the resolve and strength of every ninja involved. The unity and cooperation among the different ninja villages were put to the ultimate test. The war pushed him to his absolute limits, forcing him to confront the depths of his own power and the true nature of his connection with the Nine-Tailed Fox. Naruto's bond with Kurama, the Nine-Tailed Fox, evolved, and they began to work together as a team. This newfound alliance was crucial in turning the tide of the war. In a shocking turn of events, Tobi's true identity was revealed as Obito Uchiha, Kakashi's former teammate, thought to be dead. This revelation sent shockwaves through the battlefield. The mystery of Tobi's identity had been a source of speculation and intrigue, and the truth was more startling than anyone could have imagined. Obito's motivations and the tragic events that led him down this dark path added a new layer of complexity to the conflict. The unmasking of Tobi was a pivotal moment that changed the course of the war and the lives of those involved forever. The Fourth Great Ninja War became a testament to the power of friendship and the unwavering spirit of the will of fire, the belief in protecting one's loved ones and fighting for a better future. This war was not just a clash of powers, but a battle of ideologies, where the bonds between comrades and the desire to protect the future generations played a crucial role. Naruto's unwavering belief in redemption and his ability to see the good in others, even his enemies, ultimately reached even Obito, a man who had once been lost in the darkness of his own despair. Naruto's persistence and his refusal to give up on anyone, no matter how far they had fallen, became a beacon of hope. Obito, inspired by Naruto's resolve, turned against Madara Uchiha, the true mastermind behind the war. This act of defiance was not just a turning point in the battle, but a powerful statement about the impact of compassion and understanding. The final battle saw Naruto and Sasuke, once comrades now rivals, joining forces against Madara and later Kabuya Otsutsuki, a celestial being of immense power. Their journey from friendship to rivalry and back to alliance highlighted the complex nature of human relationships and the strength that comes from unity. Kaguya, seeking to reclaim the chakra, the life force energy of the world, represented an existential threat that required the combined efforts of all the shinobi. Her overwhelming power and ancient wisdom made her a formidable foe, but it was the collective will and determination of Naruto, Sasuke and their allies that ultimately prevailed. Their combined might, fueled by their shared history and the support of their friends, finally brought an end to the conflict. The war demonstrated that true strength lies not in individual power, but in the bonds we share and the willingness to fight for each other. It was a powerful reminder that, even in the darkest of times, the light of friendship and the will of fire can guide us to victory. Years after the war, Naruto achieved his lifelong dream, becoming the seventh Hokage of Konohagakuren. His journey from ostracized child to revered leader embodied the themes of perseverance, friendship, and the importance of believing in oneself. Naruto's story, however, did not end there. As Hokage, he dedicated himself to building a peaceful future for all ninja, striving to create a world where no child would have to endure the loneliness he once faced. His unwavering commitment to his ideals and his unwavering belief in the power of understanding and forgiveness cemented his legacy as one of the greatest Hokage